Hello everyone, uh, this is going to be part two of our little Your Controls tutorial. Uh, joining me today is going to be Simon from the United Kingdom. He's going to be playing a tour guide for us if all things go well. And uh, basically what we're going to do is see how it works, play with some of the buttons. I'll be giving you folks uh, some of the different warnings that kind of come along with all of this. As you'll see, there's a couple little twigs. Um, one problem you're probably going to notice is my voice sounds a little different. I'm using a headphone today so that I can hear myself think and be able to communicate. So, uh, so far, all I've done is I've made sure I've set everything up correctly. Uh, my weather is exactly exactly the same, my time of day is exactly the same, my aircraft is exactly the same, I have no multiplayer aircraft turned on, everything is completely ready to go. We even have the same amount of fuel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using the cloud host feature. So I'm going to go ahead and pop up your controls. First things first is I'm going to confirm that I'm an IPv4, I'm going to confirm that I'm on a cloud server, I'm going to make sure my aircraft, it says active aircraft, it says C172.yaml. This is actually the Cessna 172 G1000. You cannot use the traditional version for it. I'm going to go down here where it says uh, username. Make sure you type in a username that makes sense. Obviously, I'm going to pick Red64 because, you know, update rate, I'm going to leave this alone. If you're on a LAN, you can probably crank this up a little bit, but you're going to find that it doesn't make that much of a difference. Last but not least, we have this little timeout timer. If this gets triggered, that basically means something didn't go well. I'm going to pop save settings here. I'm going to go ahead and press the start server button. So as soon as I do that, it's going to create this handy dandy little session ID for me. I'm just going to kind of copy paste this. I'm going to do a little bit of stuff behind the scenes here. I'm going to go send this over for my buddy, Simon. Uh, Simon, can you say hi? Hello, how are you doing? <laughs> awesome. This is so exciting. I hope this works. So I've sent him that code. So what he's going to do is take that little code and he's going to put it up in the top where it says join the, the, the cloud server. Obviously, I can't see that because I'm the host. And as soon as that happens, a bunch of magic is going to happen almost simultaneously. Would you believe it? One copy and paste. Hang on a second, I'm not writing down. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I can read it to you if it's easier for you. I've, I've got it, I've got it. Again, things you need to think about, so when you uh, go ahead and set your own servers up. Now, the real jokes here is uh, who's going to be the better pilot? I actually don't know. And as you can see, uh, there we are. We now have our first little client joined. And uh, you can see right now, he's uh, sitting here as the observer role. You know, I can come over here, I can bop that, and I can actually give him controls right now. And I can go ahead and click on the observer button again. Uh, so on your side, Simon, what do you see? Uh, I'm just back in the flight simulator, and I'm just sitting in the left seat at the minute. On to your controls. Boom, boom. It says you're in control. Nice. Okay. Uh, why don't you go ahead and give the uh, controls a little wiggle there, and uh, we'll kind of see what happens here. Swing over MFS mode mode. Here we go. So, yeah, I can work the controls no problem. Okay. So um, he's working the controls, but I see nothing changing on my screen. I'll let go of your controls for just a second, and I'm going to go ahead and give my controls a wiggle. Anything happen? Yeah. So your controls are going? It's going. You're, you're... Got it. So now if I want to give him actual aileron and yoke control, if I go back to this, if you see where it says client list and it has a little button next to him and it says observer, I can click on this and I can click on give control. So right now you are in control. So I want you to go ahead and give the controls another wiggle there. Oh, oh, geez. Ah, oh, my controls, they have a mind of their own. What have you done? <laughs> Yep, so, so that works perfectly. So as you can see, that's all there really is to the setup. But uh, obviously, we want to try to break this thing. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. So on my end, since I'm the host, I'm going to come over here where it says take control. I'm going to press this button. Give me that. So now you can see I've grabbed the controls back out of his hands. Now, the interesting thing, and this is what's really cool, is all those controls will allow me to control direction. But he can still press buttons, too. Um, would you be so kind as to press the FD button on the G1000, please? for a flight director under the heading knob. Yeah, right. That's it. Yep, so uh, we have a flight director. If you take a look here, you can see I've got my arrow. This is amazing. It's like automatic. It's great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take off, and I'll we'll kind of walk you through. He's got to play tour guide for me. Uh, we're in uh, Northampton, I believe, correct? Or just east of it? Uh, yes, just north of Northampton, a place called Sywell. Oh, nice. This is going to be so cool. I'm going to keep my eye out for cricket peach, uh, pitches here. So uh, we don't have many of those in the States, but we'll go for it. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take... Over the cricket ground. <laughs> nice. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and kill the parking brake and give it full throttle. Uh, Simon, I assume everything just revved up for you? Yeah, you're, we're underway. 
All right, let's do it. I'll let you know when uh, you're going to get controls, but we'll make sure everything's nice and stabilized first. So uh, the interesting thing here is I should probably be sitting over here in the right seat like I am here, but it really doesn't make a difference. You know, I can't sit on his lap, so I don't have to worry about it too much. Uh, how smooth is it for you, Simon? Yeah, like normal. All right, uh, flaps up, please. Let's go take a look. Yeah, we're good. Nice. So uh, that's kind of handy. It's kind of like having a little co-pilot here. All right, uh, which way to Northampton? And we're on our way. We'll level off at about a thousand feet or so. Now, this is positively wild. Now, you see the uh, mixture control knob? I'm kind of curious if you have control of that. The red handle in the middle? Yeah, yeah. Can you pull it back a little bit? I'm just, oh, it worked. Oh my gosh, you have control of that. Oh, that's not a safe thing. So a uh, word of warning to everybody who tries this, uh, make sure you trust the person you're working with. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and level ourselves off here and uh, we're on our way to Northampton. I'm gonna go ahead and back the throttle about just a little bit here. Uh, we don't need to be killing it too, too much. Eh, about a thousand feet. Uh, Simon, would you be so kind as to bop the autopilot button, please? All right. Interesting. So I did not see the autopilot synchronize. Interesting. Okay. So that is one difference. So you can turn the flight director on and off, but it doesn't look like you could do the autopilot on and off. Does the autopilot show as being on for you? Yeah. Because, yeah, it said, yeah, it, it's in, engaging for me. It's interesting. Disengaged okay. Interesting. Okay, so that's one thing that does not synchronize. Okay, so that's interesting. Uh, can you disengage the autopilot on your side? Yep, I'll put a bleep to do it. Interesting. So that does not synchronize, at least in this version. So my autopilot is still showing as being on. I'll go ahead and shut that off real quick. Okay, I'm going to give you control of the aircraft, and I'll let you kind of take us around if that sounds good. Okay, no problem. All right, so I'm going to pop over to my Your Controls display, and there's this little button here that says Give Control. I'm going to press it. And I no longer have control of the plane. Your controls. Oh, whoa! <laughs> so I'm out of control here. I'm noticing I'm getting an autopilot warning right here. No, that's fine, but that's okay. You probably want to make sure your autopilot is off. But um, I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to play tour guide here. Actually, I'm not going to play tour guide. I'm going to get in the back seat. Ah, uh, here we are. Ah, this is a luxury you don't usually get in Flight Simulator. I don't have to actually fly the plane. All right, uh, Simon, why don't you tell us what we're looking at here out my left window. Okay, so that big uh, mass of white bits, big, big buildings, that's Brack Mills Industrial Estate. And you can just see the River Ning in front of it. Uh, where are we coming into? Actually, jump back in the front seat. There we go. Well, that is a huge complex. What do they make there, do you know? All sorts. It, it, it's a... Uh, because we're out right in the middle of the country, um, we have a lot of manufacturing. In fact, I just realized where we are. Right, we're coming in over the railway. So I can see that easily. That's right. So I'm just going to come around now. If you see that little brown... Airspeed, airspeed, airspeed. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I had to be that guy. The railhead where I work out of quite often. Nice. You wanted to see a cricket pitch, didn't you? I was looking for. I think you guys have what? Uh, Northamptonshire up here. Yeah, hang on a second. I'll go. Whoops. <laughs> this is so wild. I'm literally not touching anything. I'm, I'm gonna find, try and find Monty Road. Hang on. So that's uh, coming up Regent Square. Do, do, do. Getting a little slow. Yeah. I'm flying. I'm actually flying this from outside the aeroplane because it's easier to see. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, we're getting really slow. There we go, that's nice. Look at that. You got a bunch of row houses right off our left wing there. Right, right in front of us is the Wanted Road, which is Northamptonshire County Cricket Club. All right. A green circle just before the trees. All right, I got to try to find it because uh, now I got to play spy, but at least I don't have to fly the plane now. All right, I see kind of your equivalent of a main street there, and I think I see the pitch. Yeah, I see it. 
Uh, if I hit, let's just see if I can hit live pools. Uh, oh, airspeed. Uh oh. Live pools, chop our left wing. Left wing. Uh, did you pause? I paused. Okay. Oh, I was freaking out for a second there. <laughs> I've gone off live pause now just to see what happens. Okay. That was great. I'm so glad. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I see it. Oh, nobody's practicing today. Yeah, right there. We're all in lockdown. Oh, that's right. That's right. I mean, I was always a Sussex fan when it came to, uh, you know, county cricket in the UK, but that's just me. So that all in front of us, that is Brackmill's industrial estate? Mm -hmm. Yep, straight ahead. We're coming right over the river. That's right, and just to the right of the river is the A45 dual carriageway. He's a much better tour guy than I am. I have no idea where we are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, check that out. Especially with that large building right over the left. You can see all the lorries parked outside. Oh, that's wild. Man, that's a big building. Uh, what's that? I'm just trying to think what that building is. That's, um... Oh, that doesn't exist, actually. It's, um, it's, it's obviously decided to spawn in... It knows it's an industrial area. But it's just spawning in buildings. Gotcha, gotcha. Now that's super cool. Yeah, it's inventing its own buildings, obviously. Yeah. Okay. Uh, pretty slick. Uh, I think this is a country club coming up on the right, is what I'm seeing. That's the goal, the public golf course on the right. And that's, uh, down to our right is Delacroix Abbey. No, it doesn't look like that. I mean, you, you can tell me whatever it is, but uh, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no, you got a pretty good side of the uh, kind of little country club, the office there. I don't see anybody in the links today, though, so bummer. That's, all right, so let's experiment a little bit with this tool now. So um, it's absolutely great for that purpose. So um, so what I'm going to try now is I'm going to try to steal the controls from him and see kind of what happens. So I'm going to click on Take Control. I assume he just lost control, right? Uh, yes. Okay, so that works. Okay, so in an emergency, I can at least steal the wheel if I need to. Uh, one thing you'll notice is the throttle is at the setting that he left it. I've actually got my throttle setting all the way up here. So it's actually kind of interesting to see how that synchronizes, but doesn't synchronize, but does synchronize. Um, could you shut the landing light off, please? Hey, oh, that's so spooky, so spooky. Um, what does the map on your right-hand side look like? Can you see the magenta line okay? Yes, no problem at all. That's like normal. Okay, let's uh, try to break it. Uh, try changing the range on the map. It's on the right-hand side, I think. It's that little knob underneath, course barrow. Oh, that works perfectly. Oh, ah. so it works really good. Excellent. Okay, so that's that's excellent. That's excellent. So we already determined that you can touch the flight. Don't touch them. Uh, we figured that out. Uh, just try to see uh, some other fun things to kind of test here. Uh, we'll test the flaps when we do our little approach. So we're flying into a very, very, very small, teeny tiny little grass runway. So um, it's going to be nice because now with an extra set of eyes in the airplane, they'll actually be able to call the base a little bit safer. Now, I'm very curious about something else. Uh, do you have the trim countries? What's that? The trim controls bound on your joystick? I do, yeah. Could you try giving me some nose down trim? I'm just super curious to see what happens. Yep, that works. Oh, oh that, that was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, so if you actually looked real carefully, you could see the trim wheel itself was wiggling. Now remember, total setup time for this was about three minutes. And um, this is pretty slick. All right, we're going to come spinning around. I can't wait to try to do this like an IFR, like flying into Heathrow or something like that here. <laughs> it's not going to be bad. And the neat thing is your folks who do VATSIM, this works exactly the same way. There's actually another video out there kind of floating around, kind of demonstrating this. So um, we're definitely heading out into the countryside here. Anything you can point out for us? Uh, let's see, where are we? I'm just trying to work out where we are. Uh, That's Althorpe House over to the way over to the right. You're heading out towards my village, actually, as it happens. Yeah. Um, I'll just try to spin around to see what I can spot. Uh, Got some uh, windmills to the right. Off our left wing is the M1. 
Oh, we're at Junction 16. That's Junction 16 on the end. <laughs> I love the fact that you just... You could identify that. I mean, I could probably do that for my home state, okay, but that, that's pretty slick. And I notice off to our right, we have some wind plants also. On the, so on the right, we have some what? Uh, it looks like uh, some windmills, wind plants. Oh, I'd, yes, that's uh, the one up near... Uh, 2 o'clock? Uh, they're the ones at Watford Gap. Yeah, they're the ones at Watford Dilly. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, I'm going to press the nav button. I want to see what happens here. Is the, the aircraft is now turning itself. The autopilot's controlling it, which is weird. Now, okay, cool. Let's take a look here, take a look here. We're still pretty darn low. So I assume the M1 is a heck of a motor, right? Because, I mean, it's number one. Yeah, we're just, we're just going over the M1 now, and to the left is the new A45, which goes down to Weedon. Oh, I see it. Yeah, right there. That was, that was only up about a year ago. Gotcha. And okay. The place over to the left side of that is Weedon Village. That's going to be, okay, right there. Now, it's interesting because when I think, it looks like we have a little rally course or something right off our left wing, kind of at our 9 o'clock or so. Yes. Most cross track. Gotcha. Okay. I'm just amazed that you can even pick these things, like, from the air. You certainly couldn't do that in the earlier versions of uh, Flight Simulator unless you bought, like, really expensive scenery. Okay. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in, and we're going to go ahead and get ready for landing here. This will be kind of interesting, because I'm kind of curious what happens when we do the shutdown, how uh, things go well or don't go well. All right, so uh, you're going to be a second set of eyes for us. Uh, do you have eyes on the runway yet? Uh, you see, I've got the, uh, the little sticker sticking up, saying where it is. Oh, see, I don't have that, so you, you can see things I get. Oh, I see it. So basically, straight off our nose right now, if you kind of stick your head up a little bit. Yeah. Got it. Like it's going to run from 8, uh, 8 o'clock to 2 o'clock. Got it. Copy. Yeah, I see it. There's a big green patch going kind of through the center of it. Uh, looks like we're landing to the west. Oh, that's not going to help us at all. All right, I'm going to cross the thing. I'm going to do ourselves a, a traffic pattern. Can you kind of call the different parts of the traffic pattern? Like kind of let me know when we're past a certain point kind of a thing. It's just going to be a lot easier if you just look out the window. <laughs> so we're going to cross this. So we're going to cross the center of the runway, and then we're going to take a left, 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 kind of do parallel, and then we're going to go left, left, and try to land through that nasty patch of trees there. So uh, if you could let me know when I'm parallel, it's going to be... I'm going to take the left turn, just let me know when I'm parallel. Because it's just, it's, it's just similar. All right, we're going to kill the automatic pilot here. Okay, it does not like it when you do that. Interesting. Okay, so the autopilot is on or off for you. Uh, hang on. I got a yellow AP. No, I've got a yellow AP as well. Okay, I'm guessing that's good. So we agree. We agree. All right, I assume we're roughly perpendicular to the runway at this point? Uh, yes, you're, you're, yes, it's right on our tail. All right, so let me know when we're just about parallel to it, and I'll kind of come out of the turn here. Uh, Start slowing the turn a little bit. There, roll out. All right, how's that? Yep, that's fine. We're quite, quite a way away, so we're going to have a long base. That's fine. I probably should have uh, practiced landing on this one. That thing looks a little short for us here. All right, let's go ahead and start getting ready for landing. Uh, can I have the landing lights, please? Yeah. Go on. All right, can I have uh, flaps 10, please? Ah, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I know you, folks at home are probably like, uh, I could push a button and do that. I'm like, yeah, but it's not the same thing. <laughs> that button was pressed from over 3,000 miles away. Just think about it that way. It's just, I know it sounds cheesy, but I don't care. <laughs> All right, I assume we're roughly perpendicular. I can't even see the runway anymore. Yeah, 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 you're running okay on base. All right, let me know when to turn final. Oh man, I've got some hours in this plane. You have no idea. All right. Okay, I would say turn final now. All right. Can I have all the rest of the flaps, please? <laughs> Let me just go take a look. Ah, that's so scary. Now I can imagine if you're doing this in VR, it's even better. So uh, normally you're supposed to approach an assessed on 172, doing about 65 knots. I'm doing about 54. So uh, we're basically gonna have to come in like a helicopter here because that is so sketchy. Oh my, that is way too tight. Uh, how are we looking on your end? Yeah, no problem at all. 55 knots cross-checked-ish. Yep, 53, 54. 
Nice. So it synchronizes that perfectly. All right. One last check. We'll do gumfuls, uh, gas, undercarriage, mixture, propeller, flaps, lights, speed. All right. Now we just got to put this thing on the ground and not break the plane. By the way, I highly recommend shutting uh, aircraft damage off when you're redoing this because if you have a desync, you could find yourself overstressed. Oh, it goes uphill too. Oh, this is not cool. Kill that. Nose up. And wait for the bump. Nice. Oh, that's it. We're here. Tons of room. Ah, this is a 1,200 foot runway. <laughs> yeah, about 600. I am not complaining in the slightest. That's actually pretty impressive in my book. All right, awesome. Uh, could you bring the flaps up, please? Yep. All right, I'm going to give you control, and you're going to see if you can get us back airborne. <laughs> I'm just super curious to see, like, can you synchronize, like, the controls, like, with the power and stuff like that. I'm really, really, really curious. Let's kind of get bumped around here. Kind of a flashback to bush flying. Uh, any idea where we are? Yes, we're at Newnham. Between Daventry and Weedon. I know more or less exactly where we are. <laughs> That's wild. You know, we have a lot of grass. I'm actually going to go off. Uh... Is that a stream? I hope not. <laughs> We're not going to find out. I'm going to try to give him as much room as possible here. Give it. Ah, uh, don't do it. Don't stall. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's going to be enough, but it's going to be pretty terrifying for me, so I'm going to enjoy this. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go back to my uh, your controls here. I'll flip it over so folks at home can see what I'm up to. I'm going to press on the give control button, uh, your controls. I'm going to go back to my little screen here so it's out of my way. All right, um, I'll do the flat bit for you to see if that works okay. So I'm going to give you uh, 20 degrees. Okay. Just confirming that's down. And we're set whenever you're ready. Okay, here we go. Me the parking brake was on. <laughs> that was my fault. I got it. I got it. All right, here we go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, boy. Our speed's alive, 30 knots. Remember, 1,200 feet. Stand by for rotate. Don't do it yet. Uh, rotate. Whoa! <laughs> I think that hurt my neck. I'll get, wait until we get a little bit of speed before I milk the flaps up for you. All right, just need 60 knots, and I'll bring it up a notch. All right, first flap notch coming up. All right, 65, second notch coming up. Canceling landing lights. All right, we are looking good. How's it feel? Yeah, no problem at all. Nice. I'm actually really impressed with how smooth it is. Like, I expect it to be a little bit more janky, but it's it, it's actually like I was just kind of, eh, okay, a little bit there. But, again, not bad at all. Not bad. Uh, anything nearby that we can fly over to? Uh, just to um, Let's zoom out a little bit. All right, perfect. Uh, do you happen to know the code to Daventry, or is it something I can look up super fast while you're you're kind of cruising here? Oh no, no, it's not. It's uh, sorry, it's not an airfield. Yeah, we'll, we'll go for Preston Cates Airfield, straight in front of us, three, three, three and a bit miles. Perfect. Okay, in that case, if it's uh, right around the corner, it's right around the corner. Oh, EGKV, does that sound right? I have no idea what its code is. We'll find out. All right, we'll see if it works. So I'm gonna press the direct key. Um, I assume something's flashing in front of you now. All right, I'm just curious how accurate this is going to be. I'm just going to dial it in and see how well that synchronizes. Because if this synchronizes, think about how much it would be easier to fly IFR when you got an extra set of hands. EG, uh, KV. Oop. Kilo. And we're going to select Victor for a last letter here. Oop. Uniform. Anybody who's had a mouse for a long time knows how well that mouse wheel works. Uh, did the little yellow magenta line change for you? It hasn't, though. It's still showing our original. Oh, now it has. Now it has. Nice. That's so cool. Okay, that's exciting, because you could do a lot of damage with that. I don't think it has any special approaches, right? No, it does not. It'll be like what we've just been into, I think. I don't, I'm not in. It's uh, made. Uh-oh. <laughs> I guess we'll find out when we get there. All right. I'm going to let you do the landing this time. We'll see how it goes. 
And then we'll probably think about calling it. I'll show you the whole uh, disconnecting procedure, which you'll find very simple. Oh, yeah, there's absolutely nothing to that. But there's actually somebody there already. They look really, really carefully. At least I can see. It looks like there's a little teeny tiny light from like a headlight or something like that. Uh, check airspeed. Flip on your landing light for you. Yeah, there's somebody there. Oh, my, that is a short strip. I guess better you than me. Hey, All right. All right. I'll... I'm going to my hands into this. Perfect. I'm going to sit here and enjoy the ride. Actually, I'll pop over in the right seat here. Be nice and dramatic. All right. All right, just uh, let me know uh, when you want flaps or anything like that, and I'll get them all ready for you. Oh, we're going to be doing a short base here. <laughs> Very. Might as well just do a split S, right? I think we can do that in a Cessna 172. <laughs> I don't know if there is an aerobatic version of a 172 now that I think about it. There's a retractable landing gear version, which is pretty good if I recall. Okay, we're well, first notch of flaps. First notch coming in. 10 degrees. Cross checked. I assume they went down for you. Yep, they have. Excellent. Ah, oh, my hand just reached for the throttle. Ah, so force of habit. <laughs> Alright, I got your landing lights for you already. I assume you just heard the word 500. Yep. Nice, so that works too. Flaps all the way down, please. Flaps down. Okay, I'm going to put my hands up on the dashboard like a, you know, the scaredy passenger who's never flown in one of these before. All right, gas, undercarriage, mixture, propeller, flaps, lights, speed, sets. All right, going a little quick. Here we go. <laughs> this is so crazy. You do, oh, look at that. I can get out my little cell phone and like start fitzing with it while you're you know, kind of taking this in for a landing here. I got a little bit of a crosswind there. Looks like we're going uphill. I think I see the farmer with his little tractor going by. Here we go. Wait for the bump. Oh, <laughs> sorry, wheels. We're here. That's what shock absorbers are for. <laughs> it's not retractable. Okay, one more thing we'll test, and uh, we'll call the video right there, because we've been going on for a little bit here. Even though this is a lot of fun. we got to like try this in Heathrow or something like that to see how it works. All right, uh, let's go ahead and uh, test one more thing. Um, I'm going to leave you with controls of the airplane, if that's cool with you. I'm going to go ahead and pull the mixture control all the way out. I believe the engine will stop. True that? Yeah. Yeah, All right. Sure. I'm going to shut everything off. Oop. Did the screen pop up on you? Yeah, it's gone back to you know, continue. Back Just hit continue. Uh -oh. All right, we're going to go back to continue, and I'm going to go shut off everything else. Okay, so can you say everything's turned off right now? All right, I just want to test one thing just for fun, because, you know, why not, right? I'm going to take controls back from you if that's fine. I'm just going to go pop up that little screen real quick. Take controls. All right, I got it. Let's see. This is the theory. The idea is the other person can start the plane. Let's find out if it actually works that way, though. All right, uh, could you give us uh, both battery switches, please? Ah, oh, that's so cool. It's like a ghost. All right, now give us a little bit of throttle. I'm going to push the mixture control all the way in. Uh, turn on the bacon light. Go look out the window, make sure I have somebody to chop up into tiny pieces, as always. That looks pretty good to me. Okay, could you go ahead and crank it? Hang on a second. Fingers crossed. Delightful. I got it. Okay, that is actually pretty darn cool. So if I switch uh, the avionics back on, I assume you can see everything fine on the right there? Okay. Apparently the... Hang on. Then you've switched the avionics on. Uh, both sets of alternator batteries on. Bus 1 and bus 2 avionics are set on. Right. The avionics haven't gone on. Okay. Try switching on. Are the, is the switches on or is it that the screens are off? No. Uh, no. I, I had to sw I've switched them on so now the screen's up. But they, they didn't switch on for some reason. Okay. Let me test something real quick then. Did they all go back off again? Nope. Interesting. So I'll turn it back on. Obviously nothing bad happened on your end? 
No, it's, it's just like they're on. Can you turn the battery switches off? Yeah, sure. No. Interesting. Okay, so again, it looks like there's a couple little things that are a little tricky to synchronize, or we're not giving it enough time to synchronize. But right now, everything should be on, your display's all synchronized, ready to go? Yes. Okay, awesome. All right, so I'm going to test one more thing. What was that? Everything's just gone off. <laughs> okay, so my guess is... It, it had. <laughs> remember, these signals have to travel 3,000 miles to get to their destination. So chances are in a half a second, all my stuff's got to show it just did its, <laughs> there it goes. Okay, so the lesson to be learned here is let it have a minute to do its thing. But as you could see from the actual direction controls, no difficulties at all. And obviously, like I said, if we're on VATSIM or something like that, we're not going to have issues with synchronization as well. Uh, any comments uh, from, to our lovely audience, uh, Simon, before we kind of close this one? It, it, it's good for a laugh. If you've got a friend, to, a friend you want to go flying with. Yeah, I'd be very curious... Yeah, doing like an approach. You've got to be careful with that autopilot, but you can see the setup is pretty good. All right, so let's go ahead and see. What was that? Sorry, no problem at all. Yep. All right, so I'm going to go pop over to host controls. I'm going to press stop server. Now, hypothetically, nothing should be different. Like, your screen's the same, correct? Yes. Awesome. So it works. Okay. So as always, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Again, I've showed you from the previous video, basically how to get it all set up and installed. As you can see, not much of a process. And you can see the actual controls work really, really well, though you have to be patient. If you push a button, expect it to take a moment to kind of synchronize with the other person, especially if you have long distance. But as you can see from everything else, it worked pretty well. So uh, you want to say any last thoughts there, Simon? No, I'm, I'm very happy, and, I, and on behalf of everyone else, Phil, I'd just like to thank you for all the work you do, because it makes the sim so much easier to fly. No, thank you. I really appreciate that. Uh, this is something we'll have to experiment with. Maybe I could do like a comedians in airplanes getting coffee or something like that. <laughs> it could be kind of fun. All right, folks, uh, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.